Welcome to Reality Teen Talks. My name is Gary McGuey, high school practice leader for Franklin Covey Education. Each week, we're here to take on the real challenges of teen life. Let's talk. Our topic this week, leadership. It's not what you think. Hmm. Let's meet today's panel. We have Orhe, we have Rhett, and we have Divine. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us. So, team, leadership. When we hear the word leadership, what are some initial thoughts? Um, I think for me, leadership means to know when it's your time to stand up. Um, you don't always have, I feel like people think leaders have to always be in the front of the room, always speaking, always leading, but there's a time to follow and a time to lead. And I think leadership is when you know the difference. Nice. I like what Divine said too, and it's kind of similar to what I think leadership is. When I hear leadership, I think of someone or something that has taken charge of a situation that has taken, even if it's so small, leadership is about mm-hmm. taking control of something so small or even super big and guiding people towards something, a goal or a mission or a vision. I agree with Jorge. I think leadership is being selfless, like putting others first and thinking about other people and how they feel and stuff and like putting them in consideration. Like you have to be selfless to be a leader. I think that's really important what she just said. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say because... Sometimes at school or in a club, um, the leader may feel like they need to do what they need to do first and then they can help. But leaders usually, you know what you need to do. And there are people who are struggling, either they're new to the club or new to the team or wherever you are. And so I think it's important to not just be all about yourself and what you're doing for you, but also to be conscious about the other people around you. I appreciate those comments, team. If I was to throw this out to you, that leadership is a choice and not a position. What does that mean to us? How would you respond to that? Choice, not a position. You know, when I think of that, you know, leadership is a choice. Um, I think that the general idea is that even if you have a title, it doesn't mean you're a leader. You know, you could have CEO of a company, CFO, vice president of marketing, but if you're not a real leader, and you're not taking it to heart and you're wanting people to move towards a vision, you're just sitting there with a title, but it was your choice to not take it and be a leader with it. You're Mm -hmm. just there formally. You're not really a leader, you know? It's a choice for people to be a leader and a lot of people can do it and they choose to do it, even if they don't realize it. What he said was really good. Like, also you don't have to have a title to be a leader. Like some people Mm -hmm. think, have a title they are a leader but that's you have to choose to be a leader like you don't you don't have to have a title to be a leader. and i think we we see that without even having to think about it like for example if you're in a class it's a little bit hard for you the person you're going to test not test test and ask a question that tends to be the leader because you feel like you can go to them you can ask them questions if there's people who may not have a title but because of who they are and how welcoming they are, how they treat others, they just have that leadership mentality and we are able to see it without them having to have an official title. That's good. What what would you say to some of our listeners today? And they're feeling right now, you know what, I don't, this leadership thing, this sounds good. I don't feel like I'm a leader. What would you suggest are, are ways people could start maybe changing the way they look at themselves and maybe see themselves more as of a, of a leader. I like what Divine said, and it kind of ties into what you just asked, Mr. Gary. And it's that leaders don't always, you know, show themselves in big positions. Sometimes they show themselves in the smallest positions possible. You know, taking him back to school when a student asks, hey, what is this and why does it do that? So many students are already counting on that person to ask that question. In that moment, you're a leader for those people because those people are like, let me let someone guide this discussion. Let me let someone help me do this. And that's what leadership is. And you don't need a title for it. You don't need something special for it. You just need 
to have a will to do it and want to help people. And all of us are leaders. Think of like, you know, helping your friend in a relationship or helping them go somewhere. You know, you're taking leadership of that event. Mm -hmm. And that's what leadership is all about to me. Nice. He said was really good. Like you have to want to do it to be able to do it. Yes. When you hear the word leadership, then what are some concrete words? Like you would say here, when I hear the word leadership, here's a three to five words that jump out to me. What would you say? I think the first one would be leader because it's, you say leadership. And when you say leader, you have to have people that you're leading, if that makes sense. And if they feel like they can't come to you and you're not open-minded or they can't ask you a question or, you know, suggest something, then I don't know how you can lead the people that you're supposed to be leading when they feel like you they can't follow you, if that makes sense. So I feel like there's definitely an aspect of being not a people person, but able to deal with people. You don't have to be the most social person in the world, but at least being, uh, allowing people to be able to come to you and ask you for help or whatever, because then you're leading the people, if that makes sense. Perfect sense, yeah. I think of like selfless and caring when I hear leadership. Because you have to, like, take other people into consideration, like I said earlier. You have to, like, want to hear, like, you have to, like, you can't, like, judge them or, like, I don't know. You just can't put yourself first. You have to take, like, their beliefs into consideration and, like, what they think into consideration. You can't just do what you want because you're considered a leader. Not about, like, how you want it. I agree with Rhett. You know, I was once told by a national officer when I was running for state office, I was trying to get some help from people and other leaders that I look up to. And she told me two things that I now consider, you know, some of the most important things for leader. And it's that it's selflessness and humility in all things. And that is how everything follows when you're humble and you're selfless about what you do. Things just kind of Mm -hmm. walk into place for you. You know, when you think of others, naturally, we're caring individuals. So, yeah. How has your leadership, how has it helped you get to where you're at right now? That's a great question. I feel like for me, I definitely began feeling like a leader, like actually feeling like one once I really became confident in myself. And that would have to go back to fourth grade. And I feel like most leaders are inspired by another leader or another person to start to lead, if that makes sense. Um, In fourth grade, I had an amazing teacher. He gave me confidence. And from there, people would ask me, Divine, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And I was, I mean, it, it, it was something that made me think, oh, I can really help people. And then you start to get that will and people, and you start to see that you can do this and that. Um, I also think that sometimes we're just placed there. I'm the oldest of five girls. If I was not a leader, I don't think we would make it out alive. So I think sometimes you're just placed in your position or once you start to have confidence in yourself and what you're doing, you're able to then help other people in that same area. Nice. So let's just ask this. I'm thinking about... I'm, I'm liking what I'm hearing. I'm a teenager listening to this and I say, this is good. Okay, you, you guys got me inspired. Where should I start? What would you say? How do I begin to work on this? What's one thing you would say? With all good things in life, they start off as an idea. And just the simple fact that you're inspired by other leaders' messages you know, take that and think about what you want to do in life. You know, think about where you want to go and how you want to help others inspire themselves, to become better individuals in our world and start building off of that. You know, with all great things, it starts off small. Look at the little details, you know, oh, I'm inspired by this. I'm going to help people, you know, by helping them do their homework. And then suddenly you're asking questions for the kids that are too scared to ask questions in class. And then you're doing, you know, helping the teacher with the class and then Suddenly you're in an organization helping people that maybe you don't even know. And that's what leadership is about. You start off small and then it just kind of sort of connects into blocks. And then you have this big chunk of Legos connected and you're like, wow, how did I get here? Nice. It's, it's really just a stairwell. It's, you're not going to notice that you're doing it. You just, it's going to happen. 
And maybe it might go fast, maybe it might go slow. You never know. Yeah, I definitely agree with him. If I were in that position, I think I would stop now and think, what have I done? Because you may have started already and just didn't realize it. Um, like Rhett earlier was talking about how she's in so many sports. I'm sure she's used to it by now. She may have showed somebody how to dribble a basketball or how to, I don't even know, throw a curveball. I'm not sure. I really don't know the references that I'm speaking of. But you may have already started doing things and people could already see you as a leader and you just don't consider yourself one. So I would stop and think, where are some places that either I get asked for help or I'm good at and I love to help other people? I can show, just stop, stop and think, what am I doing already that could be considered being a leader? And I think you can go from there or what am I doing now and how can I grow from that? Or if like if I'm captain of the football team, how can I allow myself to be personable to where people can come ask me for help? Things like that. You can just grow from where you're already at. I agree with that 100%. Because like a lot of people look up to some people like leaders as they see as leaders and people don't know it. Like the people that they look up to, they don't really know it until they're like told it. So you might not mm-hmm. even know that people see you as a leader. So like you're always, you're always someone's leader or like person they look up to. Yeah, and I'd like to add with to what Rhett and Divine said, you know, with this whole idea, maybe we think that no one like there's only type of special people in our world that can be leaders and that's just simply not true anyone i don't care who you are whether you're just a normal student or someone holding a big title in a company anyone can be a leader you just have to try and put your mind to it doesn't matter you can do it and we all believe in you i think you also have to look from where you're coming Um, if you want to be a leader just to hold power I think that's where you need to reevaluate why you want to do what you want to do. It's always good to look at the why in a situation and to figure out if if this is a good why, if that makes sense. Do I want to be seen as leader just so people look up to me, just so I can gain followers? Or is it for me to actually help and make the world a better place? I agree. You can't just be for show. You got to be a leader because you want to help. I agree. Well, guys, in closing, I just want to say, first of all, you guys are just tremendous leaders right here on this call right now. Very inspiring. Just just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done today. We look forward to future discussions down the road. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to Reality and Talks on YouTube, Apple, or Spotify, and leave a review or comment. We'd love to hear from you.